So you have something like this, right? Where you have all the edges all, except you have these two that needs to be swapped, all right? So what you first want to do is you want to put it on opposite sides of each other, but not directly uh, underneath each other. So you don't want it like this. See, first thought comes to mind is, oh, I'll just put this into here, right? But that's not going to work because I'll show you. If you do that, you're going to be in the same exact position, right? So you don't want that. Whoopsie daisies. <clears throat> you don't want that. So what you want to do instead, so it was originally like this. What you want to do is you want to do this. See, now they're opposite from each other, but they're not directly underneath each other. These two pieces are not aligned. Okay. So what you want to do now is you want to put this piece up here, this piece down here, and this piece over here. So go ahead and do that. Here. Right, I'll line this up properly. So turn this side up. Now what you'll notice is um, that you have this piece down here, a piece up here, but if you look over here, um, this is essentially going to be your your workspace now. This is um, the third edge that is messed up. So you're going to use this. So you're going to turn this um, uh, turn this up so it's on top. Kick this guy out. Turn this guy all the way down. Go all the way around. Go back up. Alright. So now you have it all lined up. And you're going to do this algorithm again. But this time this guy is going to go up here. This is going to go over here solving this edge again. Okay. And this is going to go down here solving this. Now, once you're done, you'll get a um, a parity like this. Um, what happens is these two edges, the sides, they are orientated wrong. This one's supposed to be over here, and this one's supposed to be over here. So this will be the second algorithm that we're going to use. And this one's kind of long, so I'll go slow. So you want to turn one, two, so that it's in the back. Then you want to turn the back twice, turn the top twice. Then you want to turn this edge down, turn the top twice, turn this edge down, turn the top twice, turn this edge back up, turn the top twice. Then you want to turn the front twice, turn this one up, turn the front twice, turn this one up, and then turn uh, the back twice, and then you want to turn this edge twice again. As you can see, it reorientated and corrected and solved this edge. The rest is pretty simple. You just solve it as a normal 3x3. Three three. Um, so let's just do that now. God dang it.
After that, you'd finish solving the cube. So, that problem will also arrive on the uh, 7 by 7 where the two edges are swapped. The two pieces need to be swapped. But sometimes it's um, on the 7 by 7 there will be two together that needs to be swapped. And when you, when you go and solve it, um, you can just solve it the same exact way, but turn the two that are messed up together. So imagine it's just one column. And also with the um, swapping these two pieces, sometimes they're on the seven by seven, they'll be together. So just turn those together. And that's it.